Welcome back to Footy Classified. Good call, bad call. Sam Mitchell, the special guest, has the new ball. Sam, it's important to keep your players guessing when it comes to selection. Good call, bad call. Before you answer, let's have a look at this. Is yours a key position player? Yeah, he is. Has yours won Mark of the Year? No, but he probably should have. Well, I've got Howie. <laughs> I think he's in. Looks like Howie's in. <laughs> good, good call because I you doing well that. I wouldn't do that one but you do need to make it fun and I think the fans love to see stuff like that scoop, so good call scoop to you when the heat is on Channel 7's commentary team rise to the occasion good call bad call no that's a bad call from you Kane and it's a disdainful call and it's full of sarcasm I'm really disappointed in you actually this is inside the commentary box at an inside stadium clearly they can't afford heaters at Channel 7 poor James Brayshaw their star has to put the trench coat on it's a bad Cool. Uh, Kane, sometimes you need to let a sponsorship opportunity go by. Good call, bad call. Well, I can't believe the most commercial man in this room <laughs> is asking this question. He's a bad call. Let's have a look at Adam Simpson and Elliot Yo doing an ask Simo and a sponsor's agreement. Clearly, it doesn't matter about the performance, money talks, and that is a bad call in particular from you. Um, <laughs> Lordo, yeah. to you, uh, Ben Keyes is the unluckiest man in football. Good call, bad call. Uh, bad call by you, Mitch, if you're oh. believing this from Ben Keyes. Uh, he thought we all come down the last show. Have a look at what his <laughs> excuse was. So he's, he's, Cox, he's kicked the goal. He's come charging in and you know, I loved it. I actually didn't mind the theatre of it. He's ripped the uh, goggles off. He's taken them off. And then... Uh, Ben Keyes come out and said, I actually went to try and grab his jump and didn't mean it. So I'm not... No, I'm he not, didn't say he that. Did. He did. He jumped to get them. I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrific. Cornsy, one for you. Can't underestimate how really poor this West Coast side is. Good call, bad call. Yeah, before I answer that, Scoob, let's have a listen to Foxtel's commentary before and during the game. The Swans' biggest winning margin over the Eagles, 130. And the biggest winning margin ever, 171 points. Not sure we're going down that path. The Sydney Swans defeat the Eagles by 171 points. It's a good call from you. They are bad and we've got to get our heads around how bad they are. Hey Mitch, uh, coaches need to reach to a higher shelf after some games. Good call, bad call. But before you answer this, here is Craig McRae, the Collingwood coach. Well, I'm looking forward to watching the last quarter. I tend to do a red, red wine replay after a win. <laughs> Only one glass, just drink responsibly. Yeah, I think Fly would be pretty high on the top <laughs> shelf with a lot of their games, so he'd be drinking some nice wine at the moment. What did you grab last night? <laughs> no, it was uh, very low grade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lordo, some things should only be used for good, not evil. Good call, bad call. That's a good call, Kane. I used to throw the grass up to uh, slot them. Uh, not do this from Alex Pierce. That should have been a 50 metre penalty. I thought that was taken out of the game where you could throw Ooh. things at players when having a shot for goal, and the umpires missed that one. Uh, Sam, uh, the road to bankruptcy is paved with good intentions. No, it's a good call, good call from you, Sam. Charitable call in the end. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that well for QBE. They're going to get some good promotion. One of their major sponsors, they said for every goal in round 15 they picked, the QBE Foundation will donate $3,000. Now, Sydney don't usually go on scoring rampages. They probably budgeted <laughs> for, say, 12, maybe 15 goals. Maybe it was going to cost them 40 or 50 grand. They didn't think it was going to cost them 93 oh, after the Sydney Swans put on 31 goals. So that's a good call.